welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Hayley, mum of two, live in the UK, in the Midlands area. Um, I do all kinds of things on here, lots of travel, lots of lifestyle, vlogs, that kind of thing. Um, tips, hacks, cleaning, I do the lot. Anyway, cut the sh story short, I have started Couch to 5k this week and I thought I would document it because I've done the same and gone and looked up people that have done it before and um, seen what it's all about um, Lucy a youtuber that I follow at the moment she is just in the middle of doing it and it kind of inspired me actually to have a look at it um, it seems that quite a few of my friends actually have started it recently and I thought I might give it a go I'm not a natural runner I've never really been a runner I like fitness in the way that I like to go to classes and like short burst classes so 45 minutes an hour once twice a week and that's me really I've never been one to self-motivate myself to go out running jogging and do whatever anything like that so I thought I'd give it a go anyway because it seemed to have quite a good success rate when you look online and I have just completed week one so I'm only one week in I've done like uh, diary type entries which I'll put after this and it's been all right i've actually really enjoyed it it's helped that the weather's been really good here so it's been nice to get out of my office for half an hour three times this week and really enjoy it if you're not familiar with couch to 5k first week you have three runs in week one and they last you half an hour you have a five minute warm-up so i like to walk quite briskly in this because i'm relatively fit and i feel like i need that to be able to warm up walk as fast or slow as you like um, and then you run for a minute and then you walk for 90 seconds and then you run for a minute and then you walk for 90 seconds and you do eight of those and that takes you all around your loop and then you have a three I think it's a three minute or is it a five minute it could be a five minute warm down at the end so when you're walking home um, I've really enjoyed it I'm very lucky where I live there are quite a few routes that you don't see many people but they're relatively flat um, picturesque which helps and the sun's been shining first run I really quite struggled and you'll see that in the video entries I think it was a shock to my system it was warm um, but I enjoyed it second run not so much um, I found it really quite difficult I found my breathing very difficult I definitely breathe too fast and too heavy um, so I need to start being more conscious of that or not so conscious of it I'm not sure which and it was very very hot I took a different route and I didn't really enjoy it run three I loved I went further than I've ever done before doing the same time um, I so I put more effort in but not consciously and I actually run four and a half K which is very close to 5k I know obviously I'm walking half of that or briskly walking but I was finding the recovery periods much easier to recover from so after a minute of walking I was ready to run again even though I had another 30 seconds of walking I stick to the program because I thought it's there for a reason so far so good so going into week two now I'm probably going to start that on Monday I think it's now Friday I haven't run today I run yesterday but I've got a busy weekend if I can get out on um, Sunday or Monday morning I will but I don't think I will get a chance but uh, we'll see um, so far so good we just need to continue the good weather I think as a motivation to get me out if you've done it or anything similar then I'd love to know how you found it or if you have any tips or things you didn't like about it um, I'd love to start a conversation about it anyway thanks for watching bye so I'm back I'm done week one run one First man, run done. As you can see, I'm pretty sweaty, but not as bad as I thought I would be. Um, it's pretty, on paper, it's pretty easy, but for someone who doesn't run, I found it not difficult, but hard enough, like challenging enough. Um, it's 30 minutes, and you have a five minute warm up, five minute cool down where you're just walking, and then you're doing a walk for a minute and a half, and then a run for a minute, walk for a minute and a half, run for a minute. And I am, I am sweaty, I am in my sports bra, I want to show you that delight. Um, so I'm just going to cool down, have a glass of water, have a shower, but so far so good. And I, I, I did actually really enjoy it, it's really sunny out there today. So um, it was quite nice to get out of my office and go for a run. But obviously I've got to go back to work now. But it's nice, 
and my husband runs and I always think I'm always quite jealous that he has the ability to just run off and run out and it must be really good for like your mental health to like you've just got time to think or not think of anything whichever you prefer um, but I can't run I'm not a runner I find it difficult my breathing my stamina so I'm hoping this will help me do that um, but yeah so far I'm only one running good Hi, I am back from my run two of week one. I decided to push myself a little bit more than yesterday and definitely felt it. I think I should, sorry, be steady as I go rather than trying to like, prove something to myself or whoever else it may be. Um, because I felt like it was much harder even though it was the same as yesterday. Really. I guess I've got yesterday's on there like history have a nice and my legs are a little bit heavy they're not aching because I'm obviously used to exercise but they are heavier um, so I definitely found this one harder I also went a different route and it was definitely more elevated so I think I'm gonna stick to my original route that I went yesterday um, on my next run and see how that goes I enjoyed it but it was definitely harder it is hot today as well um, uh, but yeah, I, I still enjoyed it to an extent, but it was definitely more difficult. I'm going to have a day off it tomorrow, so that's Wednesday because I'm off with the children. Um, so I'm hoping perhaps Thursday I'll get <coughs> week, um, run three down of the week. Um, yeah, so I thought I would check in anyway. So I am just back from my third run of week one. So that is week one complete I can't believe the week's done I really enjoyed today's run actually and I felt like I ran further um well I definitely did go further today but I felt like I could have gone even further and I felt like I could have run for longer and the recovery was much easier so when I'm walking for the 90 seconds I felt like after a minute I could have gone again um, and the first run was tricky, but by the second, third, fourth, I was feeling like I could have run for another, probably only 10 seconds, but further. Um, I actually went further over the half an hour as well. So my first two runs, I averaged at about three and a half kilometers, I think. Excuse the noise. And then today I ran about 4.3 kilometers, so much further today, well, ran and walked. So much further, so I'm not actually far off the of 5k, which has really surprised me. Got you. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I'm looking forward to starting week two. I'm going to have a few days rest, I think, unless I wake up tomorrow not aching. Tomorrow's Friday. Um, so I'm going to give it a go, but let me know how you found it. I have a feeling, obviously, the weeks get harder. So that I'm going to struggle as they go on but uh, yeah enjoying it so far week one even week one has really like encouraged me that I can do a bit of a distance even if it is walking running walking running and it's been nice it's been really sun sunny here in the UK this week so it's been a nice excuse to get out from the office for um, just half an hour obviously I need a shower and a wash when I get back but I've really really enjoyed it um, sorry I'm filming on my phone um, but I'm sure I will be with my camera giving you a proper update tomorrow.